Hi, I'm Peter Prevost, and I want to talk to you about Emacs Writing Studio. The next phase in Emacs Writing Studio, after the um, inspiration phase, is ideation. So ideation is where we start writing down all our notes, manage those notes, create new ideas, combine them, etc. There are many different um, methods out there that people, different people promote about uh, Tettelkasten and Power Method and Johnny Decimal, and so oh, just use this method and you will achieve note-taking greatness. But I don't think that's that important. Even Nicholas Luhmann, who is famous for his Tettelkasten, wrote in his Tettelkasten that it is a septic tank of his ideas. He didn't believe it was very structured. He wasn't that productive because he, um, he had the perfect note-taking system. He was extremely pr productive because he was a workaholic, right? There's no note-taking system that can do the work for you. So my advice is just start writing notes. And um, within Emacs Writing Studio, there are two mechanisms, one to write fleeting notes. So that's notes that will pop up all of a sudden that you need to quickly take away. And there's permanent notes for which we use the denote package by Protostila Stavro. So let's stop talking and let's start doing. There are basically two types of notes. We have fleeting notes which are quick notes that you take that you might or not might not keep. And there are permanent notes which become part of your archive. And there's two different mechanisms within Emacs and Emacs Writing Studio to manage those. So let's start with the fleeting notes. So here's the scenario. You're in the middle of writing um, your masterpiece and all of a sudden you remember, oh, I need to mow the lawn or I need to do this or do that or you have another idea. Uh, what you don't want to have to do is switch contacts, open another app, type in the note and then go back to where you're writing. You want something that's seamless. Now, Orc Capture is the perfect thing for you. If we type Control C and then C from anywhere within Emacs, you'll see a little pop-up shows up where we can select between um, a fleeting node, a permanent node, or a new task. So let's look at the fleeting node. If I now type F, I can start typing a note. This is a fleeting note. And you see that it also has a little dash, so that's a list item. With Alt Enter, I can add other lists, for example, um, I just had a great um, idea to review later. If I now hit Ctrl C, Ctrl C, this node is stored away in a file, and you see that here in the echo area at the bottom, to inbox.org. So that's the file that I defined as my note-taking file. How do you do this? We use the customization menu. So Alt X, Alt X, customize a variable which you can also access with Ctrl C, W, V, hit enter. And we want to orc default notes file to be customized. So hit enter again. Um, and what you see here that in this box, I have defined my um, fleeting notes file, my inbox, right? So this can be any file that you like, as long as it has a .org extension. Then when you change it, you can hit apply and save. And now this is written in your custom.el file. So next time you start Emacs, that is all set for you. you get Q to get rid of this. Now, how do you access those, access those nodes? Well, with Control X, F, you can of course um, open your inbox, but you can also type Control U, which is called the universal argument, and then Control C, C fleeting note and now it just takes you to the relevant um, file. Now a universal argument with, uh, within Emacs is control U and when you type that before you issue a command it's for, in some instances it does something different than the original command and that's all written in the help files or the manuals etc. So here's my all capture file and um, yeah I can now review that and I can choose to do something with it or not. Uh, the org capture system is very flexible. Uh, I, I defined these three different fleeting nodes, capture templates, but uh, the org manual has extensive uh, details on how to manage the capture templates. I won't be explaining how to uh, develop capture templates because that requires knowledge of Emacs Lisp, so we'll leave that for now. Uh, you can review that at your own leisure. So now I'm going to talk about permanent notes using the, the note package by Protozilla Stavrou, who also kindly wrote the foreword to Emacs Writing Studio. 
we need to do a little bit of configuration and that is to set the um, denote directory so alt x customize variable then we need to find the denote directory variable there we go and you see that in my case it's home Peter document notes that's actually not right i use lowercase apply and save and now we're set so this is the location where all your nodes will be saved in principle you can save all the nodes in this single folder that's because of it, uh, of uh, the nodes file name and convention so and i'm going to demo that to you next so if i go to the um, to my documents notes folder and show you my private collection i do have some subdirectories in here but they're for, for specific uses um, so these are all the node notes and what you see here is that um, they have some formatting and they're all in a very standard way so the first these symbols here are the timestamp so that's an iso 9 uh, iso 8601 format so that's year month date a t and then the time up to the second accuracy so that's the timestamp when the note was created or it could also be a date that's relevant to the note so if you want to go back in time then there's two dashes and a title and the title is also separated by dashes so that's kebab case um, and that's the way to recognize the title so if we search for something that starts with two dashes we know that it's the first word of the title then the third part here in purple are the keywords and they start with double underscores and they're separated by an underscore so in this case i've assigned four keywords to this particular note and a keyword is a way to group different notes together there is another aspect of the note that i don't use that much which is a signature oh, that's fine oh, here's some experimentation that i work with so the bit of red is the signature and that stards with uh, equal signs and in that case that's a, a sequence so uh, category one in my case is business management and um and then one is management itself and there's etc etc so that's a way to create a settle cost in as well so these are the different aspects of the note file format and that drives the whole system so let's create a new note now you do this with the the note command so alt x denote and there's also a keyboard shortcut for that so now the system will ask me for a new title this is a new note i hit enter and the system now will ask me for some keywords emacs demo and also ews is a keyword that i use so they're comma separated and the drop down that you see here after the comma those are all the keywords that you have already defined so these are the keywords that i use so that's select these so now an org mode buffer pops up and you see here in the front matter we have our identifier this is the timestamp on which i've created this note you see the keywords which are called file tags within org mode and a title and a date and i can i can now start writing my note it's as simple as that now within the note org mode is the standard format you can also use markdown or plain text if you want but we'll stick with org mode for now now having a bunch of in individual notes is fine and we can connect these together by categorizing them using file tags we can also um, add signatures to create sequences of notes but we also might want to link them directly together so create a um, like you're on the wikipedia to do that we use uh, the note create link cwdi now we see all the denote files that can be linked so 3391 files in my case and let's for example i want a note that has an ews category in it so that's underscore ews so underscore for the category uh, and i want it also to be about um, bibliography so say bib so now the completion system nails that down by giving me only nine options and then i can um, link to this this note for example there we go this link itself when we look at uh, how it's uh, structured 
and I do that by deleting the last little bit here. You see that the link itself just only links to the ID of the file, to the identifier. Now the beauty of that is that it doesn't matter if you rename your nodes, add new categories, add signatures, etc. The links will always remain the same as long as you don't change the identifier. The identifier is sacred. Right? Once you set it, that's it. Oops, let's undo this and restore the link. Now I can click Control C, Control O, and, and I jump to that other node. So that's the basic principle of creating an interlinked system. Uh, I've written another package called the Emacs Explorer, where we can actually visualize those links, but that's a, a topic for another video. When I just created the node, the node asked me for a title and for keywords. But as you know, there's also a signature, and perhaps we can also enter another date or a subdirectory. Now, the node has got you covered here. Now, we can customize a variable. Uh, so, Alt X, customize variable, and the one you want is the node dash prompts. That pops up a little menu, and there's a whole bunch of options available. So, by default, it is only title and keywords. You can also, for example, ask the node to always ask for a date. Um, by default, it will use the date that you are creating a new file. You can also ask the node to ask for what file type you want to use. So that's org mode, two flavors of markdown, or plain text. You can ask the node to store it in a separate subdirectory, um, if that's what you like to do. Um, you can also ask for a template, so that every time you create a node, a template pops up. And we can also ask for a signature. So let's uh, tick two of those just uh, just for the um, date as well. Just to show you what happens, we'll apply this. I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to apply it. And now I create a new node. And um, let's say another demo. Hit enter. I'm asked again for some keywords. So let's call the keyword demo. Then here is a date time. Now I need to type that in, in the format that's shown here. So I can say, well, this is actually a note about a thought that I had um, last year, because you might be uh, typing in what you've written in the paper notebook. So 2024, 12:25, your Christmas diary. Uh, and it happened at uh, 14.30, for example. I type that in. Now I'll ask for a subdirectory as well. I have a few subdirectories in my notes, but it gives you all the options here. So let's just throw that into this uh, bib one. Now I'd also ask for signature. Remember that, that was also what I ticked here. So a signature could be that um, the one that I have here, 12A12, which means nothing, but good. Hit enter. And now this new node is created. Let's make the screen bigger. And you see the file name here at the bottom has the timestamp for 2024 December, Christmas. It has a signature and there's the title and it's an old board file and we can save that away. There's a lot of flexibility within uh, org mode. Um, and if you want to find out more about how to use a system, uh, Prot has written an extensive manual that's all built into Emacs. How do you access this? Control H, capital R. Then you search for the node and you hit enter. This opens a file in what's called info mode. And with the spacebar and shift spacebar, you can Page through these files, there are hyperlinks, and you can search as well. Type in the question mark, gives you all the different uh, options available. So that's the basics of the note. Now within Emacs Writing Studio, I've also included a package called uh, Consult Notes, which is a way to help you find notes. And I'll show that to you. So it's Ctrl C, W, D, uh, F for the note find. A uh, menu pops up, and because it's part of consult, also a preview appears. Now, this um, ancient document here is a mortgage of the house I was born in in 1370. And you see here that I actually uh, manually added a timestamp of 1370. So this is one of my way to manage attachments. There's a lot of scanned historic documents. Uh, because of this, uh, uh, because of denote, it will also show you a preview. But sometimes if the file is big, it can uh, be a bit slow. So you can page through these uh, files here, um, but I can also search. So let's say I want any node that starts, uh, that has the EWS category. So that's underscore EWS. 
So now that's here's my nine different nodes, and I can by paging through them I can see a preview um, hitting space. I can then go even deeper. EWS bib doesn't exist, but for example takz, and there's the node that I needed. So the uh, consult notes package is very useful to help you find the nodes as well. So that's a short introduction into the note taking capabilities of Emacs and the uh, the node package. So what's my personal workflow? Um, I don't only use the Emacs inbox, of course, because I'm not always at my computer. Um, I use paper notebook as well. Uh, I've been doing this for more than 30 years. Uh, it's still the best way to create contemplative notes, in, in, in my opinion. And uh, I have a bit of a workflow that once a week I copy anything that's worth keeping from my paper notebook into the note. Uh, on my mobile, I have a little simple note taking app. And then once a week, I go th through that, clean them all out, and put what's worth keeping into the note. So then, slowly but surely, my the note uh, collection grows. If I, for example, get an invoice, and there's a PDF file, I rename it uh, to the, the note format, and then it becomes part of the note as well. So, for example, doing my tax return is absolutely very easy. I just search for any node of the relevant year that have the keyword text and there we go here's all my invoices so the node is a wonderful way to not only to take notes but also to manage all your files in the next two videos i'm going to do a deep dive into creating literature notes so that's combining the sitar package which was described in the previous video and to the node and another video a deep dive into a package that i created to explore your denote notes and also to visualize them as networks to generate more ideas. I hope you find this useful. Uh, you find more information on my website. There's lots of links down below. Also some videos by other creators, including the, the author of the Denote package. Uh, if you'd like to support my work, then buy the Emacs Writing Studio book. It contains a lot more detail. And feel free to leave comments uh, and ask some questions. And I hope to see you at the next video.